Hey guys, it is February 5th, 2024, Reconquista 56. For any new viewers, what this channel is really about or what this series is about specifically is uh, the Reconquista of kind of like me getting my life back together. As for right now, there are some things that we are uh, attacking and that is that I want to get my weight back to 170 pounds and I want to get rid of all my debt. I don't want to have any more debt. I don't want to partake in usury. And for right now, the one thing that we're fighting is my credit card debt. I have uh, $1,877.35 right now. So we're trying to eliminate that. By the end of the month, I want to be between $1,200 and uh, 1000 But that's going to be really tough. But I think $1,200 is very reachable. Yeah, so for today, it's a brand new schedule. I was trying some new things. I know before I've talked about trying to implement all four things that I'm trying to like kind of chase in my life into one. So, and then that is God, soccer, um, so, uh, trading stocks and music. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's what I tried to today. So I put out, wake up at 7 a.m., pray, and then do, uh, read the Bible. I have not finished it and I'm trying to finish my first read, uh, through the Bible. And that has taken me quite some time, but I'm doing uh, one chapter at a time. That way it's not, uh, and like an incredible amount of commitment into it um that i'll be able to do every day and also uh go to the gym at 8 a.m stretch at 9 soccer at 9 30 edit at 10 30 go do my first shift from 12 to 3 p.m and then go to work again at 5 to 10 p.m for a total of like eight hours and then uh, eat at 3 30 p.m and then do strided music from 3 30 to 5 p.m and then have a little bit more at 10 p.m and then go to sleep at 11 so um whenever we do the first the schedules for the first time a lot of things will go wrong and then you'll see that you have to fix a lot of things and that's pretty much what today was even though it was quite successful so i'll just go through it what i actually did is i woke up at 7 12 a.m i didn't start my bible until 7 49 and it kind of took me forever because i annotated and i read into it and i have this website that tells me kind of like um more history and, and more information about what I'm reading. So I read it, I annotate, I ask questions and stuff like that. So it took me until like 9.05 a.m. where I eventually went to the gym, I did pull. Um, my shoulder started hurting again. I went kind of hard yesterday. My shoulder was like, ow. And then I stretched at 10.21 and I didn't go to soccer until 12.16. And then I started to edit at 11.35. And then I didn't go to work at 12 to three. I did not do that at all i was doing other things um like editing and just trying to kind of fix my room which i did i finally got some of the fix uh fixes things uh done and so yeah i did i only i went to work at 3 20 and i stopped like at around 10 p.m and i was pretty mad about it too we didn't even, i'll talk about it right now and then i ate at uh 2 12 p.m and i did not do strat and music and I'll talk about it on uh, notes and reflections why. And then I will sleep until 12. So it was a pretty busy day, especially in the morning. But if I can get this down correctly, I think this will be very successful. As for the daily production, I did zero TikToks. Again, I'm in the process of fixing that. It's just been taking me forever. But once, once I get started, I know I'll just start cooking. I did two Bumble Prime videos. Uh, as for Uber Eats, I did $81.76 out of 111. Um, I was working there for like seven hours and that's just everything I made. Uh, it's just, it's not very busy on Mondays. And overall, like this is, I'm just tired of working this job. I'm not gonna lie, it's like makes no money. I wanna get my workers permit already so I can go um, do something with my degree. But um, yeah, I also got stuck like in like, in neighborhoods with people who you don't want to get stuck on. Um, not because of danger or anything it's just they always like either say that they didn't get their food or they because now you can like cancel the tip so it'll make you do a really long trip like a 45 minute trip but you're thinking they're gonna give you because they give you the tip beforehand so you know the whole amount that you're getting before you take on the trip so if you're gonna do like a 12 mile trip for four dollars you're obviously not gonna take it so they fake a tip and then they remove it after and that's what this person did to me uh, what's her name? I think it was like 
a t-shirt or something like that i don't know but uh yeah um i've always had problems delivering in those areas because they always either claim they didn't get their food they scam you out of the tip and they, they do a lot of shady stuff i just thought uh, i like to keep myself in uh like like range um on this side of <laughs> where I, of the left side of where i live because when you go to chicago and like you hit all those suburbs and stuff they always end up scamming you and stuff so yeah i don't like to go i got stuck over there unfortunately and and yeah so like what happened with my last trip it was like a 45 minute trip um they said i was supposed to get 15 dollars for like a 11 mile trip so i was like well okay that's worth it i took it and then they canceled the tip afterwards so i ended up getting four dollars so now on like 11 mile um trip so that's like very not worth it. i would have not taken that in that case so they kind of tip bait you they call it tip baiting like in the um if you join you can join like these communities and stuff and they talk about you know tips and tricks and stuff like that but yeah they, they like tip bait you so you take the thing and then you waste a lot of money yeah i try to do like one dollar per mile type of thing so yeah that was um that was expected though with, though with these type of customers in those areas they always do that so as for uh fix i put a uh, connect to rumble did not do that yet i finally set up my computer in the living room so i'll get to that um the next day youtube playlist have done a clear phone that's gonna take forever some of these are like a couple day workings but i'm putting them every day so i work on them every day uh so the tv and computer switch uh that actually is done i switched it i put the tv here it's actually huge and i have not connected it yet um so this this why this might look a little different because I, I used to put my phone like next to the computer to hold it to like record these so i might have like a little different frame and then prayers i feel like i need to find so many prayers for so many different things and every day i'm like trying i'm finding something new to like that i need to find a prayer about too so like it kind of helps me out so this also like a work in progress and then the tiktok and insta goes with the intro and that's taking me forever for some reason so i'll try to finish that and then the January balance sheet also goes with uh, the computer. I finally set it up so I can finally do it. And then Apple charges like $4.99 if you're a student. And I just recently got my Arizona, my ASU email. I told you guys I'm doing like some programming and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. And then I set up instance accounts. That should be pretty done pretty easily, but I haven't done it. And then I manage my subscriptions after January balance sheet. Yeah, I want to see what I'm spending a lot of money on. So I can come, like, the only way to really, I guess, like, get ahead is to just make more money, right? But it also helps to, like, cut down your budget and, like, owe less. Which is essentially the whole thing with the debt. Um, but, yeah. So as for the notes and reflections, I put this new schedule today was cooking. There were some complications, though. I have to somehow find a way to finish God Soccer Strata music all in the morning. Leaving stuff for the night only guarantees that I won't get to it. At night, I'm already rushing to sleep on time. Plus, I'm tired, so I won't get anything done. So, yeah, that's what I was talking about during the schedule that I put Strata music at 10 p.m. I should have not done that. I should need, I need to put it in the morning because if I finish every 20, everything before 3 p.m., like it guarantees that I get everything done. If I don't do it before 3 p.m., I'm sure that I won't do it in the, in the afternoon because I'll be working. And then when I come home, I'm just tired. I'm just trying to chill um, for like an hour before I go to sleep. So I, I know I'm not going to get it done. The praying was also very helpful. It gave me courage and reinforced my belief, but forgot to do it at times. Yeah, like you guys can see, I put um like pray pretty much next to everything. And I think I forgot to do it when I ate one of my meals or like before going to every like uh, activity um but when i needed it i did and it helped me out so that's good ronaldo's birthday was today and it made me a bit emotional his story is one that always gives me courage to chase a dream he literally came from poverty and became the best player in the world anything is possible he put insane amount of effort and focus towards his craft and the results were fruitful almost poetic how his name is cristiano god is always there influencing the good people of the world I want to have his same drive to achieve something great. I really believe I can do something. So yeah, I'll stop right there. Overall, happy birthday to Cristiano Ronaldo, um, the, the greatest soccer player ever. And yeah, 
I was watching a lot of videos yesterday from him celebrating his birthday and a lot of them were from like his journey of him being a little kid uh, with a dream to everything he's achieved now and um those always get me emotional I don't mean in the crying sense I just mean like in the um like they hype me up they hype me up and they make me believe and they make me kind of just like um kind of like wake up like man you gotta do something too like uh, look look where this man has come from look look at his story look at everything he like um represents you know hard work dedication focus uh choosing the mission first right he chose soccer and he always chose soccer and he still chose the mission first but he's still very close to his family among other things so it's just it's just something that always um like i don't know like inspires me and makes me want to do better oh um, so then i just wrote i just need to buy my freedom i'm tired of working this job <laughs> i was kind of mad at that one woman that i was talking about i'm like bro really man i hate when they do that. i knew it was coming too i was like i knew it was too good to be true because i was like when we hear it, these never happens these big and i'm like oh, i'll just take all I'll, I'll risk it for the biscuit and you know sometimes it works out sometimes it doesn't but i should have known when i saw the name I, I want more and I need speed and money. This won't come from this job, but I'll get there. And yeah, I mean, like I said, I'm just waiting for my worker's permit so I can uh, go work, um, I don't know, something a little bit more corporate, something with a little bit more money in there um, to kind of alleviate my debt and possibly use uh, all the money I'm making to towards creating something for myself. So yeah, as for the calories I had today, it was 1,896. So a pretty decent calorie day and my weight was 238.1. As for the credit card debt, it increased to $1,877.35. And that is from gas and that is also from interest charges because it's the beginning of the month and I'm supposed to make payments on some of these cards. So the interest charges already came through. Um, yeah, so let's try to get it down. Uh, like I said, we'll try to get it down to like a thousand, a thousand two hundred. And as for stocks, I was trying to sell them today. It didn't go as low as I wanted it to go. But um, we're sitting at portfolio at $760.36 for a positive of $128.57 in profit since we started this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys next time.